the first step. All right, uh, Brian, university uproar. A popular UCLA professor out in Los Angeles now filing a formal complaint, a grievance with his union after he claims he was fired because he's conservative and has conservative views. Students protested back in May, saying that they were being blocked from enrolling in Keith Fink's class on free speech before he was let go. And joining us now is that former UCLA professor and attorney, Mr. Keith Fink. Thank you so much, Professor, for joining us. Good morning, and thank you for having me. You're welcome. Tell us why you were fired. Just this year, there was a new chairperson who is a liberal uh, ideologue with great disdain for conservative views. She came in, and the first day uh, after my first class, she immediately slashed my class enrollment. I fought for the students, and it all went downhill from there. I mean, when I say downhill, I think it was preordained from the day that she came in that the school was uh, intent on getting rid of me. Okay, so the school, UCLA, you say, is taking a leftward tilt. Just out of curiosity, how many uh, conservative, outward conservative uh, professors do they have on the staff, do you think? You mean on the whole campus? Yeah. Outward conservative? Like, I could probably count ten? them on my hand. Is that right? I could count out. Well, you say you say outward mm -hmm. coming coming outward. Certainly, nobody's as vocal as I am. Uh, there's a conservative professor in the law school named Eugene Volig, uh, but I'd say less than five. So they just this new person running the show out there. They just don't want the other side heard by uh, those impressionable minds at UCLA. Well, I. Yeah, I'd say it's twofold. It's one is they don't like uh, conservative thought, and secondly, they don't like students empowered, uh, knowing their rights and knowing that UCLA, uh, for example, repeatedly violates the students' rights. Uh, when students not only know their rights and they have access to me, it's even worse for the university because when students' rights are trampled, they can come to me in addition to being a teacher. I'm a lawyer, and I will fight for the students. And there's been a number of instances in the last year or two in the context of Title IX where I have seen the university attempt to steamroll students who have done absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, and their, you know, their entire future is on the line, being branded a, a rapist or someone committed sexual assault, where I've gone to bat uh, as a faculty advisor for the student, uh, and I've saved the students uh, on a number of occasions. Mm -hmm. So I know this hasn't scored me any uh, political points with the administration. Right. Professor, what do you think the reaction would be from this, this new leader at the school? What would be her reaction if you were a liberal? She would hug me. Um, <laughs> take me into her safe space, um, you know, I would be beloved. You would still have a job? There's no doubt I would have a yeah. job. A job. Uh, here's a statement from UCLA regarding you. A standard comprehensive academic review that part-time lecturers undergo at UCLA to determine whether they meet e excellent academic standards to attain status as a continuing lecturer has determined that Mr. Keith Fink teaching does not meet that standard uh, of excellence and goes on to say you're not going to work there anymore. How do you respond to that? Well, we don't have time for me to explain the French farce, which was this uh, exhaustive investigation, but my simple response to that five-sentence determination by Dean Gomez, where she simply says in an ipsa dixit statement that I don't meet the standard of excellence, is it's a joke. She doesn't list a single reason, not one reason, why I don't meet the standard of excellence. I am the most popular teacher in the department, if not at the school. Their own metrics have me as the best teacher in the department. Department. I've seen that. Every right. single person that's reviewed me, that's, that's, that's why I watched my class previously, has said I'm nothing but an outstanding teacher. They've conceded that I'm uh, an excellent speaker, mm -hmm. which is not much of a concession since I won three national debate championships for the school. Well, we have a lot of comments come, from the uh, students, and yeah. I know that a lot of people were protesting you're being fired. I've got to ask you, we, I don't wish this on my worst enemy. I hate it when people lose their jobs. What are you going to do now? Well, now I continue to practice law. I mean, I have a, a great life. Mm -hmm. uh, I have my own law practice. I have uh, cases around the entire country. I fight for people uh, on a daily basis. I have many of my students uh, that are interns in my office or they work for me in my office. I continue to keep in contact uh, with my students. So there's many things that I, I do outside of teaching. Good. But you still have an I am... Uh, 
Yes, but, but the, the greatest reward to me individually is being a positive influence in these young people's lives. There's no amount of money that equals uh, um, the joy I get out of um, steering somebody in, you know, in, in, the, in the right direction or sure. teaching them a new thought well, I'm sure or exposing them to a Bob will be Dylan glad song. To have you. Well, thank you so much. And it sounds like UCLA thank doesn't you so, want to hear you. both sides of the story. Uh, Keith Fink, good luck to you. Thank you for telling your story today from Los Angeles. All right. Coming up on this Friday, remember the anti-cop protest breaking out in Minneapolis?